Well, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Coffee Shop Tycoon, where we are back doing our actual... Hang on a second, I gotta, like, turn something down on the side. There we go. That we are actually back doing uh, more, more Coffee Shop. Now, there was a good comment. There was a lot of good comments in the last episode as well. Uh, I'm actually making this video way early, um, so, yeah. <laughs> so, I, 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 the video has only been out for a couple of hours, so I'm not gonna be able to read every comment yet, but uh, I will in the next episode, believe me. Anyways, uh, so where are we at? We need to achieve bronze bean rating here at this store. We have the bronze bean rating at the other stores. Now it's just this store that we need to do. However, um, <laughs> I've been told that when it comes to the stock market, uh, these companies here, the Igni Ig 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 Ingot Roasting Sasquatch, the Lab, don't even try me, and the Triton here, they never go bankrupt. So uh, what that means is you can invest into these companies and not have to worry about them going bankrupt. And I think the reason why they don't go bankrupt, because the four companies all have something special about them. They have all these, like right here, right? They have this. This is the thing. The thing that whatever this is, once you unlock it, once you buy into them, you know, the game needs to be available for you to to, to be able to, to get these things, whatever they are, right? I think that's why these do not... Uh, go bankrupt as you can see this is like something right this is a device that we can use eventually and i think even for here no these are just macaroons but yeah so yeah so uh, these four companies are not going to go bankrupt it's just part of the game and i think you know there could be a little bit more adjustment there in, in all um however there has been new yep 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 new uh coffee creation ideas that have been thrown into the hat or thrown into the bucket or thrown into the tub or thrown into whatever you want to get into really i prefer not getting into the tub i'm not a bathtub type person i'm sorry why would you sit there in your filth i'm not a child i'm not a baby anymore maybe a little bit anyways drink idea number two is ice coffee right we're gonna go start off with some ice coffee we're gonna go uh espresso i'm assuming cold ice this is the ingredients espresso we're gonna have some irish cream into this we're gonna have some pecans which uh i don't know if i can yeah i can have pecans great i didn't know f <laughs> pecans sweet chocolate syrup with it sweet chocolate syrup let's get some sweet chocolate syrup and then some whipped cream so it's going to be whipped cream instead of foam so whipped cream with the almond or pecans on it this is the drink uh this is going to be called the the kinetic king love the name the kinetic king is going to be the name of this and with the seasonal shock we're gonna to have to go into it. so the person that is actually uh, putting into this um into this coffee actually made the seasonal shock which i was very impressed with and they said with the seasonal shock remake uh remake it with the same ingredients as before before but if it sees but if it gives you the ability to dr turn off the seasonal optional or not i don't think it gives you the option to turn off seasonal maybe it does Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. But we'll look into that. Don't worry. We'll look into the seasonal shock. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be the coffee. I think this is a good proportion. A little bit of more espresso and then a little bit of Irish cream, a little bit of sweet chocolate, some pecans. This actually looks pretty good. Yeah, very good job. I'm very impressed. Let's see what the, the, the people think about this. This is a non-seasonal drink, right? Uh, so it's more of a, um, oh, look at this. Very well received across the board. Very well received. I'm impressed. Teenagers like it. Casuals like it. Experts like it. They all seem to like it. I like it this is not a seasonal drink right uh so instead well i mean the only thing it could be really seasonal for is 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 summer because of the ice but i think this might be a drink that we just add to the normal menu just a regular uh, menu item uh so real quick can i go ahead and take a look at the seasonal shock here yeah seasonal shock Se seasonal shock indeed can i i wish you can modify or edit the the things like this because that would that would be sweet right we actually have one heart on the seasonal shock which is actually kind of cool so what i'm gonna have to do is i'm gonna have to go back into the, the the last episode and i'm gonna have to um and find the ingredients real quick so give me a sec okay so we're gonna go ahead and do this from scratch we're gonna get rid of the seasonal shock now and i'm gonna go all the way from scratch and i'm gonna go back to the the comment that was originally uh, brought here so this is gonna be a blended iced coffee probably just a ice or maybe i think we did blended we did blended last time so we'll keep it blended since we just did an iced coffee right we'll keep it blended and this is gonna be uh let's see here we're gonna have espresso Hi, subscriber thank you for subscribing who the hell just did that thank you so much <laughs> jailbird <laughs> okay thank you for subscribing and then we're gonna go espresso they wanted espresso and i believe even irish cream as well some irish cream and then we want some honey so this is already the first thing that's going to be added to the uh, seasonality here so 
already drinks is an analogy with the honey is going to be spring uh with that we're going to be doing cinnamon syrup so let's do cinnamon syrup which brings in the fall right the fall ingredient let's go ahead and bring some of the stuff down maybe a little bit more on the irish cream and a little bit less on the syrups there maybe a little bit tiny less on the yeah that add a little bit more because we're going to be adding a little bit more right uh, cinnamon syrup espresso foam we're going to want foam with blueberries on top so topping is going to be blueberries which is going to be a summer thing and we're going to have foam so this is the seasonal shock now the thing about the seasonal shock is that it has all these seasonalities right um, and i know the point was to not make it a seasonal drink but i think in this game it is completely impossible to make it not a seasonal drink so this is going to be back to the seasonal shock so you cannot not make it a seasonal drink you have to make it a seasonal drink it is what it is uh but if it had to go i think it would be a very good summer drink because mostly summer you're going to want a cold drink anyways so i think we're going to make this a summer seasonality if we have to pick a season it's going to be summer so let's go ahead and send our summer seasonality seasonal shock drink oh my god we actually got a zero from the experts is that even possible we got a zero from the experts i was not expecting that but the casuals and the teens still love it, so F it. I still like the drink. I think it's a cool drink overall. And then we have another drink that we want to add, and this is an update. So this is a Death by Chocolate. This is going to be the name of it. It's going to be Death by Chocolate. Yes, Death by Chocolate. And what we're going to have in here is that we're going to have uh, espresso. So an eighth of espresso. We're going to have some white chocolate syrup. Let's go white chocolate. Where's the white chocolate? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Where is the white chocolate? White chocolate syrup. Uh, dark chocolate syrup. That's a nice way to kind of, you know, yeah. Hazelnut syrup. Oh, that's getting kind of spicy. I like it. Uh, almond syrup. Oh, my God. <laughs> and whip with chocolate topping. And whip with chocolate topping. This is literally death by... <laughs> oh my god so okay uh, they said an eighth of espresso that's like this much of espresso a fourth of syrup like what are you actually drinking here <laughs> this is 191 sweet so this is what i get i get an eighth of espresso is what has been listed a fourth of white chocolate a fourth of dark chocolate a fourth of hazelnut and then an eighth of almond. This is not even coffee. <laughs> this is this is actually just syrup. <laughs> We're just drinking syrup here. Anyways, uh, there was no uh, there was no inclination whether or not this should be a cold coffee or a hot coffee. I'm gonna keep it as a hot coffee and leave it into the winter um death by chocolate should be a winter drink and it would be really good to, to match it up with a hot coffee 189 sweet oh my god like send it i guess we'll see what happens this is incredible this is incredible yo the expert was like what the hell is this the teenagers were like what the hell is this but the casuals were like you know what this is pretty good i'll i'll, I'll take this so we're going to create death by chocolate so that has been created death by chocolate um yeah so that's really 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 good so another coffee creation that we have here is going to be called the uh, Before Sunrise. Before Sunrise coffee. Um, this is going to be a fun one. Sunrise. This is a very simple uh, coffee, which I'd like to see. I'd like to hear. I'd love to hear it, right? And we're going to be doing a mixture. We're going to go Before Sunrise. We're going to have about 75% uh, espresso is what I've been told. We're going to have 20% of milk, right? So 75% oh, right here of espresso espresso 20% milk I might need to lower that a little bit and 15% vanilla wait a sec that's 105% <laughs> right or 110% that's a over 100% <laughs> we'll do vanilla vanilla syrup okay yeah so we'll go do this about 75 right there um, and then 15% to 20 so we want more milk than syrup I think that's about good. This is before sunrise, and this is a hot coffee, which is good. Uh, no, no, no topping, no, uh, no foam, no whipped cream. Just a simple, easy, normal coffee that you can add to a normal menu. Uh, and this is their person, the person's coffee every single day. So this is their personal drink, which is really cool to see. So let's go ahead and do before sunrise. Who likes the before sunrise? Yo, oh, the expert coffee connoisseur loves this drink. 
<laughs> 91% expert coffee drinkers say this is the way to go. That's wonderful. We'll create that. Awesome to have. Uh, one more creation. I know you guys are like, holy crap, right? One more creation we will do. All right, and this cre this creation is going to be called Coffee Tokyo. Yes, Coffee Tokyo. This is going to be a fourth of espresso. We're going to have some ma matcha in here as well. Uh, this is going to be hot water, so I guess some water, right? And some hot milk, which we're going to have some milk in there as well. Foam on top, and that is going to be the matcha sprinkler. Sprinkler, sprinkles, uh, which is going to have a nice foam. There's no, I guess there's a percentage of one-fourth espresso, one-fourth matcha, one-fourth water, and one-fourth milk. So I think I've evenly done, did that very well this is coffee tokyo send me off who likes this one the expert coffee takers love this one so there we go awesome i love to see that loved the creations thank you guys so much for the uh creations and the expanded list as always i i assume this is something that you guys really really enjoy and i love to bring your guys's creations into the game so there you go if you want to and you haven't yet already go ahead uh let me know down in the comment section below create a coffee and we'll get into it so there we go now we have a lot no new items added i think i'm gonna add a couple of these drinks to just our normal menu like i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of sweetie cans and the all uh, not the all night i'm gonna keep the all nighter because i like the all-nighter but i'm gonna get rid of sweetie cans here we're gonna add a drink and this is gonna be potentially yeah before sunrise we're gonna have before sunrise and if i can let's add coffee tokyo as well those are some those are drinks that are just not uh seasonal the kinetic king also i would like to add to the menu too because that's a non-seasonal drink which we just need to get rid of the statistic which we will get rid of statistic and then we will add the the kin kinetic king to the menu there we go Awesome. Cool. Alrighty. That's looking very good. Hazel these nuts. Don't even talk to me. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and fast forward time. Yes. All right. Press play. We have our shop here. All we need to do is achieve a bronze bean rating, uh, which it's going to come. Oh my god, what's going on here? Why is, uh, why are we, why are we, oh my god, why are we backed up here? Are we, is it because we have no coffee? No, we have coffee. Why are we backed up? Why is nobody being served? Excuse me? Hello? This is a long line? Why isn't anybody being served? What? Hello? Are you refu refusing to do your job? Cashier? You are a cashier. You have a very good salary. Uh, you know what? I'm going to kind of leave and come back. I don't know why he's not doing their job. Okay. They're doing their job. <laughs> Are they doing their job, though? They are not. Okay. However, one thing I do wanted to, I did wanted to do is I wanted to bring in a supply manager. I wanted to spend the money to bring in a supply manager. Now, I could do that, or I could give the training to this guy, Mitchell. I could level him up in tra training, and then he will be level four before you know it, right? So let's go training. Uh, I'll give you a nice service. I want service. So there's still a lot of weirdness going on when it comes to service. We don't know. We don't know. We have no idea how service works in this game. It's very, very funky indeed. Like I said, games in early access. Full release later this this year. But uh, yeah, I, I wonder what's going on here. I wonder why nobody is being served. Coffee is all ready to brew, ready to go. This must be some kind of bug. Probably a bug. A very unfortunate bug because look at all this potential clientele and money that I'm losing here. Okay, that man has now trained. We'll do another select training here. And again, I'm going all in on service now. Like, this really sucks, dude. Why can't I do any of this? Come on. Buy my coffee? Or at least serve my customers? Serve them? I don't know if this has to, like, just go away for a sec. Our coffee beans are kind of, like, low. Our food is low. I don't know, man. I don't know what's happening here. I'm going to invest... Okay. Drinks prepared with white chocolate are trending. Death by chocolate. But, um, I'm going to invest all my money into this company here. So I'm going to buy $368,000. We're going to get Sasquatch out first. We're going to take him out or at least own Sasquatch. As far as what's going on here, this is a little funky. Um, I will do, oh, death by chocolate is not the right way to go because it is a minus rep, minus rep modifier because it's at a season. I see. Um... Where is a good way to go? White mocha? 
It's a hot chocolate, or sorry, it's a hot hot coffee. Yeah, this would be probably good. Yeah, 57 hype, 20, uh, 23%. It's not a seasonal drink, but everything else checks out to be good. Okay, anything else that we can do? I don't know. Let's see here. Any more others? I'm almost tempted to put the Death by Chocolate, even though it's out of... No, I shouldn't do that. What about I Love Coca? I Love Coca does not have white chocolate, but it is an autumn drink and it is a hot drink. Gives a hype, hype really up, rep modifier and all that good stuff. The only thing I'm afraid of now is like if I press play, these customers aren't going to be able to get paid. Or sorry, aren't going to be able to get served because I don't know what's happening here. I really, really do not know. Why are these people not being used? Like the boost is not even moving either. I think I've broke the game. Oh my god. I think I've broke the game. Unless I gotta like wait till they, these new customers come in and then we can serve them or something. Some people have coffee cups in their hand. <laughs> Do I have to hire a new cashier? I don't know what's happening here. But this is very, very, very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm a little scared. It's like we, we got to this achieve bronze bean rating and then like we stopped. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna ch I'm, I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna go into managing. We're gonna go into new employees and we're gonna find an eighty thousand dollar cashier. Right? Crazy. Level five, service out incredible, two ninety two, three eleven. I'm gonna go for straight services here. Sure, services and, and speed. So we have 320, 339. You know what? I might not go for speed. I might just go for straight services. 339. Who's 339? Service. Liana. Liana? Uh, get hired. Okay, now her. She, her role is going to be uh, cashier. She will only do cashier. Mitchell, I guess, can't do cashier either. So Mitchell has to be a barista, but he is a terrible barista. So we need to either yeet him. Even though we just spent money on training him, we might need to yeet him. Let's confirm this. Does this fix our... No, no, no. I don't want you to be a barista, sweetheart. Just a cashier. Does this fix our issue? What if I were to fire Mitchell? Does that fix our issue? No hard feelings. And then, like, be a cashier, Leanna. Yeah, yeah. Be a supply manager. Uh, yeah, be a supply manager. Activate that. Less than 10 cups. Regular beans. Actually, no, not regular beans. All the way down to the bottom. Carnival. Carnival. Uh, same with food. We want you to activate that as well. One star food. No, we want quality food. Okay. And then three crates. And then that's good here. Less than 40. We want you to get two crates. Activate that. We don't want one star. We want regular ingredients and go from there. Okay, how are we doing? Okay, yeah. Um, there must be some kind of big bug here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and save the game. And then I'm going to reload the game. And we're going to see what happens. All right, so we're back and I reloaded the game. Let's see if it fixes anything at all. If it doesn't, this is a very, very sad time in the series. A very, very, very sad time. Oh, no. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. I'm very, very sad because this is a, this is a little bit of a game breaking thing here now because we can't progress anywhere or anything else because this is the only thing we need to do is achieve a bronze bean reading, bean rating. Um, and I can't do that when I can't serve. So I guess the only other options I have now is to potentially get rid of this. No, no, no. Get rid of this if I can. No, no, no. Get rid of this. Edit mode. Let's try to get rid of this. So how, how would one get rid of that? Just delete it? Okay, yeah, there we go. Sell this. Get a new one in. Maybe a $20,000 advanced one. I mean, it really doesn't change anything, really. It just looks better. But let's do it, I guess. Dude, that looks incredible. I love the way this looks. Um, and then I would like to rotate it, please. 
There we go. Rotate it the other way. Okay. And then place it right there. Right, right there. There we go. Okay. Inventory. We're fine. Okay. Normal mode. All right. Will this change? Let's see. Let's go back to here. We would like to assign them. Assign uh, Willa to the barista. No, no, no. You're not a cashier, lady. You are a barista. Not a cashier. Oh, my God. One person has to work the cashier. I'm working on bringing one person to the cashier. I would like to assign and select you to be the cashier. So, no barista. There we go. Switch them over. They've been swapped. Specializations. Uh, they need to have their stuff activated. Yep. That needs to be activated. That needs to be activated. That needs to be activated. And then for uh, Willa, she also needs to be activated as well. Okay. Right. Now, let's see if things have changed and if we fix the bug. Everybody leaves. Everybody comes in. Everybody is mad. Rightfully so, but it is working. Okay, good. Reason why people are mad is because we have nothing on our counters. <laughs> right? We have nothing here. Uh, we need to get something here. So we got to go baristas. We got to add. Do we have the inventory? Like, inventory? We have nothing in our inventory? Okay. All right. So I guess I got to rebuy everything. That's fine. That's all right. At least we know that this has been fixed. That we fixed this. So we want to go advanced brew. Advanced grinder. Intermediate air pots. One, two, three. And intermediate espresso machine. And then intermediate brewer no we have the advanced brewer okay yeah that should be good we should be able to do everything so now our coffee people should be able to do that let's go ahead and add food back into this i'm gonna go from the bottom i'm gonna go cinnamon uh, danishes um red velvet gingerbread there we go now we're back into business ladies and gentlemen okay a little bit of a scary time there i will say thought i broke the game i would have been very upset because i really really much enjoy this game a lot <laughs> So I'm glad that I fixed the issue. It's a very unfortunate way of fixing the issue. I wish you didn't, I didn't have to do that, but that's all right. That's all right. There we go. Okay. Cool. All right. Now we're back on track. <laughs> Let's get back on track now, right? Okay. Okie dokie. Food should be coming in. Everything should be automatic. I, I hate that I had to fire my other guy. It is what it is. That's the cost of doing business, baby. Um, sometimes that actually is not the cost of doing business. It's actually the cost of doing bugs and glitches. That's that's the cost of that. But okay, we're doing fine. Okay, so now what we need to focus on is getting this popularity up. We need to get the decor rating up, which is easy. We're going to add just a couple more chairs and things like that. It's going to be very, very simple. Um, so let's go chairs. We can afford it right now, so we are going to do it right now. Oh, look at the tea table. The hub. Oh, I love the hub. I love the look of that. That looks pretty cool. By the hub. Put the hub, like, right here. Right there. All the cool cats will be sitting there. And then let's get some chairs in. The chi. The connoisseur. Is that what that is called? The connoisseur. Absolutely. Bye. Bye. We could go all the way through. Yeah, let's go all the way through. In case, like, there's, like, a big party. Like, I don't know. Does people, like, celebrate at... Do people like to go to coffee shops and have a good time? I don't know. Like, hey, let's all meet up here. Uh, party of 10. <laughs> have you ever walked into a Starbucks and said, yeah, party of 10 here? No, it's not like we're going to Red Robin or anything. Um, no, it's not like that. It, it's just we're, we're sitting here having a cup of coffee. Now, services. Services should be all oh, drinks prepared with matcha sprinkles. Perfect timing. Good job. Good job because we have that. Yeah, co coffee Tokyo. Hype 30, rep modifier. It's a, it's an average drink. It would have been better if it was cold and in the season, but the fact that it has matcha sprinkles on it, I can dig it. I can dig it. I think we have another possible drink, right? Let's see, let's see. Matcha, matcha, matcha. Blueberry would be seasonal and cold. That would help that, but nothing much else. Hazel these nuts. Wonderful. Um, this is a not spring, but it's a cold drink, and it is some matcha. That has a little bit more than the Coffee Tokyo, which we will take that. Thank you, thank you. And then what else do we have? Anything else in particular? I think I will add the, um, it's a very simple drink, but I'm going to add the blueberry frappe. There we go. Yep. That has a little bit more. Okay. Bring in the hype, bring in the popularity, send it off. Let's get it. Let's go. Cool. Decor rating is up to par now. We have 20 or 228 out of 180. So that's going to be fine. So yeah, like I said, the only thing that we need to do today really now, earn money, 
even though we spent a lot of money, earn money, potentially invest into more companies. I say more companies, but I say Sasquatch. Look at the freaking money, dude. Look at this. Look at the turnover right here. It's incredible. Bam, 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 bam. And then just kind of get us into the bean bronze rating. Now, I don't know if there's a silver bronze rating. I'm sure there's a silver bean bronze rating, which we'll get into that eventually. But um, this shouldn't take that long. This really shouldn't. Willa has reached level six. Wow. Uh, that's kind of cool. We've never had anyone reach level six before. So that's interesting. I haven't really even adjusted. Whoops, not that person. I haven't really adjusted our new hiree, Leanna. So let's make sure that her performance is killing it. We'll go like 20%. Yeah. I'm willing to pay more for these people so that their performance are at, like their performance is outstanding, I should say. There we go. Awesome. A lot more people in the store, you know, a lot more people in the shop because of our chairs and tables and, and things of that nature. Like a bunch of like random like <laughs> like People that don't know each other, strangers, they're so comfortable and like hanging out with each other. I don't know. I've never been like to a legitimate like home down uh, coffee shop and like walked in and like made friends. Maybe that's a thing, and I'm I'm not like well aware of that. It's kind of exciting to think about now. Hundred thousand dollars, yeah, we're we're killing it now. I don't know how much money we actually make passively. We probably make a lot, right? Probably. We're doing good though. We're doing wonderful. Dun, dun. We're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be uh, level. What is it? Sorry, uh, we're gonna be. I just kind of exit out of that. We're gonna be at level eleven here soon. I am blocking it, but uh, we're about less, a little bit less than a quarter of way. Probably two thirds of the way to um, to level eleven. But yeah, twenty five hundred coming right up. Now I, I don't know what's gonna happen. Where is the game gonna take us? I think actually the game probably unlocks us a new level, maybe a new shop. Oh, could this be the episode of a new shop? Oh my lord. Uh, TV show, yes, friends would be shot here. Yeah, sure, dude. They've they've shot in every single um shop that we've had. I don't know why. Like, I like it, but it's like four thousand dollars is not a lot of money. Um, why would you say no to that option anyway? To four thousand dollars and say no to friends or a TV show being shot in your coffee shop? It's like no, I don't want that. Hey, the objective, the wild, has been completed. New coffee shop has been unlocked. This is the Akihabara Arbara. Your reputation has increased. Very good. All right. Well, hey, I mean, good, right? Very good. Very, very good. Now, one thing is certain. We have a new coffee shop. We have two more coffee shops we have to do. So we have to start all the way from scratch again. This is going to be unlocked with $50,000. A lot more than the other places. But look at this place. This place is looking extra spicy. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this. Uh, do you really want to buy this store? I would advise you to have at least 100k in the bank before you launch it. Uh, I have 100k in the bank. Do you want to transfer employees? Yes. I would like to transfer... Do I do the supply manager or do I do the brewer? Which one's more easier? You know what? I think I do the cashier. Supply manager. Just because I'm going for service. Let's do Leanna. We'll transfer Leanna. I could transfer both of them and leave that coffee shop empty, but that's all right. Konnichiwa. I've heard great things about you and how you've managed to build a coffee empire across the world. You were, you were naturally the first thing that came to my mind when I was tasked to sell this shop from my grandma. All right. The area this, around this location has changed a lot since Baba opened the store and customers are looking for something new. The first thing you probably want to do is try to make or try to market the store to a different customer demographic after that. Well, anything you want, it is your shop after all. All after all, I know I'm leaving it in good hands. Wow. Okay, you've heard her. It is now a great time to use the marketing team in your HQ. This will start balancing the market and attract different types of customers with different likes. You should also start investing in more companies and why not buy one or two rival companies in the process. Now, if you excuse me, I have a date with a giant bowl of ramen and I'm already late. <laughs> all right. Uh, teen demographic of at least 70%. So they want us to have 70% of teen demographics here in, uh, I'm assuming this is like Tokyo, maybe kind of Japan, um, which I'm going to be, you know, cultural about it. And I'm going to have the Japanese counter. Cause that is just awesome. Yeah. We're going to rotate that over there. I'm going to put that bad boy right there. That looks amazing. So that's our first thing that we're going to be doing. 
Uh, now, the next thing we're going to be doing is very obvious. We need to bring in, not that, nope. We need to bring in coffees. <laughs> uh, get the best of the best. We want the advanced brewer. We want the uh, few air pots. We want the grinder. And we want the espresso machine, which already brings us down to $21,000. Am I scared? No, I'm not that nervous about it. Because um, we have this thing called passive income that is kind of incredible right now. So, all right, now let's go ahead and add our employee. This is going to be Liana. We will assign Liana to cashier. And then we're going to need to get a barista in here. It's going to be a very cheap, very terrible barista, but we need to get a barista regardless. I would like the high barista. Yep. There we go. Now we have the barista. Let's make sure that we put the right food on. There we go. Um, bread, brownies. These aren't even showing up on the freaking thing, are they? They're like holograms. Why are they holograms? That's kind of weird. Chocolate donuts, uh, croissants, uh, scones, white cake. Skip the gingerbread, put the red velvet, put the Danish, and put a cinnamon roll. Cool. I'm happy with that. All right. So now we have to have drinks on the menu. So let's add some drinks. What are drinks that people like? Well, we we, we want to kind of go from for the teen uh, demographic here. So a regular coffee is like to anybody, right? <laughs> anybody asking for a regular coffee? The mocha, teen. Almond latte, teen. Cranberry white mocha, teen. Mocha frappe, teen. Salted caramel latte, teen. Frozen caramel, also teen. Blueberry frappe, teen. White mocha team okay now i know it's very very heavy on um on teens but that's the point right i'm gonna do the bitty springing for the casuals and i'm also gonna do the um the americano for the experts iced coffee for the experts espresso for the experts now how many menu items is that that is 12 menu items on our normal menu item uh, not a seasonal just the normal one a lot of teens are the majority here, so we kind of favored that a little bit, but I think that's a well-balanced uh, menu overall. So, that's good. We have $1,000. Damn. We have $1,000. Okay, that's fine. I, 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 no, I, that's not fine. <laughs> that's not fine. So, what we're going to do is we're going to dip away from this momentarily, and we're going to go right back to uh, Lake Celeste. We're going to go here. We're going to make a little bit of money real quick. No employee with the cashier role, F. Uh, so we are not gonna go there. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's go back to uh, park location. Let's go to park location. Let's get that little bit of idle income slash uh, real income. Get a couple of more dollars and then we'll invest it more into, um, into Tokyo there. There we go. Awesome, yes, yes, give me the 4K. Thank you, thank you. We just need a little bit more money. And the little bit more money is really going to be for uh, buying coffee beans and, and things like that. Then we're good. Yeah, like $10,000, $6,000. Right? Let's get $10,000. I think ten k will be just fine to start out our Tokyo uh, shop. Okay, there we go. Wonderful. Now let's move back over. Go here. And then let's order some supplies. So we want to get supplies. We want to order coffee. Which coffee do you want? Really specialty coffee. And today we're going to go with a Marfol. Marfol, a cherry, vanilla, raspberry kind of thing going on here. I'm going to do just one pound of coffee, which is $3,000. Now I'm going to go ahead and order one crate of quality food, which is $5,000. And then any other ingredients? How much is this? 2K? Perfect. Uh, we had enough. Okay, great. That worked out. That worked out fantastically. Okay, so now the next thing we want to do is we want to get our coffee in and then we want to brew it. But let's go ahead and open up. Here comes our first customers. They're very mad. They're like, F, you have no coffee. I know, I know, I know, I know. Regular coffee is not on the menu. You actually have to have regular coffee on the menu. Are you kidding me? Okay. All right. Um, that's interesting. Let's take something out and add regular coffee. Let's take out the uh, Americano and let's add um just the basic look that's not normal either see how that does that i don't know i don't know why like what's the difference between this because i assume this is the normal menu and then then that apparently isn't a normal menu i i don't know i have no idea then what menu is that at the beginning <laughs> i couldn't tell you dude uh let's go mocha i guess we'll redo this almond latte um cranberry white mocha uh, salted caramel. This is seasonal drinks that I should probably stay away from. 
and kind of focus on non-seasonal drinks. Yeah. Sweetie cans, no. White mocha, that's not a seasonal drink. I'll add that for the teens. Uh, eggnog is definitely a seasonal drink. The coffee for cured is not. The ice nutty is an expert, so let's bring that in. Cup of Snickers isn't either. Let's go back up to the top. Regular coffee. We'll have regular coffee because the game wants regular coffee. And uh, the cappuccino. Might as well have the cappuccino for the casuals. And the latte. And the Americano. And the espresso, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, see, now... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the difference of this menu compared to the other menu. For the normal menu. Who knows, dude? I have one more drink to add, though. And let's just do a non-seasonal... Um, I preferably would like to do a non-seasonal... Casual or teens? Yeah, cup of Snickers, I guess. We'll do... Wait, that's seasonal. Was that? No, that wasn't seasonal. All right, all right, all right. All right. Now let's go ahead and brew some freaking coffee finally. Yep. There we go. We'll get that going on. Send me off. All right, food is in, ingredients is in, coffee is being brewed. Bad reputation off the start, but it's fine. It doesn't matter because, you know, we have no reputation as it is right now. The core rating we need to get, get up and going, that will come in good time. We just need to make a little bit of money is all. Make sure that we're brewing enough coffee. Right now, we'll just do like one AirPod at a time. Wildberry syrup is now trending. Interesting. I don't think we have a wildberry syrup uh, drink. I don't think we do. We don't have a wild berry uh, syrup drink. That's interesting. But we do have some others that will kind of fall into that, like seasonal drink, eggnog, egg, eggnog latte, which will give us a little bit of hype and boost, which is good. Um, and then we'll do the other, like I think it was like gingerbread. Yeah, iced gingerbread, which will give us a little bit of uh, hype as well. So we're not going to be doing any raspberry or whatever that was. Um, syrup topping. We're not going to do that. We're just skipping that entirely. Rival company is probably going to pick it up. That's fine. It is what it is. Spring is here. That's all right. I need to add some paintings or some chairs or some tables. Let's go ahead and do... Um... Yeah, this looks cool. <laughs> this really looks cool. Uh, exterior? Other? I totally forgot about all this. A Japanese sugar table. I would love to add that. So like, oh god, I didn't even know you could rotate our entire thing here. Let's go Japanese sugar table. And we'll put that right. Perfect. There we go. Did that bring our decor up? It did not bring up our decor that much. Okay, rival company got the Coca Coca connection joint, got the wild berry. That's fine. I'm not worried about it. Not right off the bat. Not worried about it at all. Okay, so let's see here. Let's go decoration. Oh, beautiful beautiful a monstera a monstera how wonderful is this let's do that let's put that over here um let's buy oh god it's eight thousand dollars oh my lord <laughs> didn't realize it was that much money holy moly all right that's all right it's a beautiful plant though you gotta admit beautiful beautiful plant oh we have no coffee do we not have any coffee wait a sec do we have our specialization on no we do not have our specialization on we need you to be active here Yes, same th same thing except for the different beans. We want to have the Marfil beans. Um, and we actually want a lower amount of purchase, I guess. Yeah, not so much money right off the bat. Uh, same with you. Food, got to get that in. We want one crate. Quality food is fine. We want this active as well. And again, we want one crate in as well. So there we go. That will do it. That will fix itself. We'll go ahead and see where our coffee's at. We're good on brewing and continue. All right. It's been a long like episode of like trying to figure out mo like most of the entire episode has more and more or less has been oh my god twenty thousand dollars we just got has been more or less trying to just like fix everything it feels like but that's all right um let's go again with the mon monstera hopefully I'm pronouncing that right and I'm gonna put that behind the counter yeah now we should be just fine with reputation there you go there's our reputation boost right there so we are officially a one star still got to bring in some more decor yep still need to bring in some more decor. So let's see what else we have here. I, I like the owl. $35,000. Okay, I don't like the owl. The Buddha is $30,000 as well. Oh my lord. The trifecta. 
I like that. The trifecta. There you go. Love it. Does that bring us up? Yeah, that brings us up to a decor rating. Very good. All right. Now we just need to get the popularity in. $24,000. I mean, it was a lot of money. I mean, we actually got a lot of passive income now, didn't we? That was really good. But, um... Yeah, very good, very good. All right, so coffee. Make sure our coffee is brewed. Yep, there we go. Uh, the next thing to invest in is a uh, level four employee. Yeah, so like 60K, 60, 60 to 80K we need um, so that we can get someone that can come in as a barista and then that barista can simply just be automated, right? Now services here is like non-existent, right? But we're going to keep it like that for right now. We don't need any services at this given time. Maybe, if anything, Wi-Fi. But, like, no, we don't have tables and chairs out. So, I'm all right. Uh, Troy has now reached level two, which is cool. We'll give him a little bit of a performance boost. I don't know if Troy's going to last, honestly. I don't know if he's going to be around a long time. Because once I get enough money to get this budget in, right? Once I get this enough money to get this budget in to get this level four barista, I might just hire that barista and then get rid of Troy here and just kick him to the curb. Curb. Yeah. And then that's what I'm going to do. Because I just need an automatic brewer. That just makes life so much easier. Now that we have our active or our supply manager activated here. I like this. I like this. I like this. I do. I do. I do. I do. I like this um, new, new coffee joint we have here. I love the, the theme. I love the vibes. It looks good. Now, of course, we need to use money, though, to have a team demographic of at least 70%. 70 the thing is, is that that advertisement is quite a bit of money, and I'd rather build up the shop first before I dive into marketing real quick. It could help us, even though, uh, right off, I, you know, I think it's just a lot of money, though. I really do. I, I do think it's a lot of money. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go here. Let, let, let's see how much it really is. So marketing, we wanted to go to the, here and we wanted to bring up the teens. Oh, no, it, it's not too bad. Okay, so it's six. Six to eight thousand. I thought it was like sixty thousand. Coffee tasting event would help the teens. Uh, well, sorry, reduces the teens and gets the experts in. Increases experts, increases casuals. Uh, sna Snapchat filter. We'll do that. And can we do another one or is that just one at a time? Okay, one at a time. So that brings up our teens, I guess. Let's see if that changes anything. Okay, go here. Fast forward. All right. We'll see if the demographic does change over time. Now that we have this, like, thank you for the reputation increase. Now that we have this, like, demographic boost for the next three months, right? Gingerbread syrup. Uh, Yeah, yeah, we can get into gingerbread syrup, I think, potentially. Do we have gingerbread syrup? We should. Yeah, there we go. Ice gingerbread. That would have to have, um, you want gingerbread, wait a sec. You're asking for a gingerbread syrup drink that is cold, that is a summer seasonality. We are in summer. Why are we, why are we asking for gingerbread syrup in summer? Not that it's like you're not allowed to do that. It's just, I guess, uncommon. I mean, do you go to the, to the coffee shop now and say, I would like a nice gingerbread coffee or i would like a nice pumpkin spice no, not really i don't think so um so instead i'm gonna gonna go with the frozen caramel has everything but the ginger um i'm kind of tempted to make a gingerbread syrup drink but i don't want to make a drink just for this one occasion because i'm not ready to spend money because i know it's like five thousand dollars but five thousand dollars means a lot to me right now in this store We'll just do this. We'll just get as much hype as as much modifiers as we can. Yes, the rival company will do what they're gonna do. Um, it's fine. It's whatever. Let the rival company make it. They'll make whatever they're gonna make. Uh, we might get a hit here, but at least we can take advantage of the little bit of boost that we're getting right now, right? That's fine. One market campaign. Three months remaining. So it does show up here. Past my head. It is there. Um, you know, we'll see if it increases. Hopefully it does. I mean, this hasn't changed. It says stayed at 14%. Lights, robots, and monsters. Hey, now it's changed to 21% as the game listens to me. Whoa, we have $77,000. Right. Um, okay. Very quick. Very quick already. 
I could go and invest into a new employee and get rid of Mr. Troy here. Wouldn't it be a bad idea? Yes, give me friends. Um, yeah, you know what? I think that's the way I go. I do. I think that's a wonderful idea. Let's go six, sixty thousand dollars in a barista. Level four. Perfect. Okay, two twenty nine. I want the best barista out there. Okay, two twenty nine. It is. This is gonna be Lagaya. I think Lagaya. We will hire Lagaya. Troy. Honestly, get out of here. Sorry, Troy. Now, Lagaya, we will give her a specialization to be automatic brewing, less than 10 cups. Uh, two air pots at a time. We'll activate it and we'll send her off into oblivion. I don't know. She's going to do very well, I think. That's fine. I do want to adjust her salary just a little bit, just so we can get a little bit of performance out of her. There we go. Probably should do that with what's her face, too. I don't know if I have recently. 20% no. Yeah, she's fine. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Cool. Yeah. All right, well, this is the start, right? This is the start of um, our Japanese adventures, right? I'm assuming it's Japanese. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this. I'm very, very happy with this. $24,000 is how much we have. We spent 60 grand into finding Lagaya, <laughs> but I think it's well worth it. I do think it's well worth it because now we don't have to worry about brewing the coffee. The coffee will be brewed. Uh, the coffee will be ordered. The food will be ordered by our supply manager. All these great things that are happening. Uh, that we don't have to take control of and this is the fastest that we've ever had a coffee shop automated but that's going to do it in today's episode hope you guys enjoyed this episode of coffee shop tycoon if you guys did please make sure to hit that like and i will see you guys in the next video wherever that may be and do as always take care <laughs>